Chapter 16, Section 4. This is forecasting the weather. Now, we've already gone over the different air masses and the different kinds of fronts and the kind of precipitation they bring with them, if any. So today we're going to look at how you take the information from the fronts once you know where they're moving and what kind of tools you can use to help forecast the weather or predict what's going to happen in the next few days or weeks. So here we go. Most of this is about technology. So a piece of technology that's actually been around for years and years and years are weather balloons. Very, very simple piece of technology, but it can gather a lot of information. Basically, weather balloons, it's a giant balloon that has weather instruments attached to it, and they let the balloon loose. It goes up into the atmosphere, and as it goes up, it's going to record all kinds of different stuff. So the four major things that they almost always carry with them are thermometers to measure the air temperature. They're going to have a barometer that's going to measure the air pressure. They're going to have some sort of a wind sock or device that's going to measure the wind direction. And they're going to have an anemometer and that's going to measure the wind speed. Another piece of technology that is a much more recent development is the Doppler radar. So basically they send wave pulses out into the atmosphere and those waves bounce off any moisture that's falling in the atmosphere and then it sends that information back to the weather station. So they can use that information to pinpoint where the rain or snow or sleet, whatever precipitation it is, they can get a map of it like the picture that you see on the screen. Now when they send those waves up and they bounce off the precipitation they can tell how quickly the precipitation is falling um, and obviously the faster it's moving the harder the rain or the precipitation is and that's what you see as the different colors. Weather maps. If you go to weather.com or sometimes on newscast you'll see these weather maps. You can definitely see them in the weather section of a newspaper if you look at those these days. They're pretty rare but you can see them in there. Um, you get a map of the United States and it's got all these lines on it, these H's and L's and these squiggly white lines. They all tell you something. So if you look at the legend down here in the corner you'll see that you have what look like icicles. Those are cold front lines. Okay, We know that cold fronts are going to bring us some stormy weather with them. So if we look at our map, here's the cold front. And the cold front is traveling in the direction of where those icicles are hanging off of it. So since the icicles are kind of on the right side of the line, then that means that this front is moving to the southeast. Okay, same thing, here's the warm front, which might bring us some kind of steady drizzle, light rain maybe. And since the symbols here are on the right side, then that means that that front is traveling to the right, in this case to the east. Now also I want you to pay attention to the H's and the L's. Those stand for high pressure and low pressure. If you remember, high pressure is where the winds are going down, so you're going to have some downward moving air here and then in the L's you're going to have low pressure areas where that air is moving up, it's rising. So remember that winds always travel from areas of high to low pressure. I can get my cursor back here, there it is. So here's the high pressure, you're going to have winds traveling to the low pressure. Okay, High pressure winds are going to travel to the low pressure areas. So that'll give you an idea of which way your hair is going to blow if you're in the path of those different fronts and those different pressure systems. Some weather station or weather maps are going to have weather station models on them and they're going to vary a little bit from whatever map you're using to a different map but for the most part they do look like this. Now the one that we're looking at here, here is the temperature that's kind of in the top left corner. Okay, Then right here this circle is going to tell us the type of precipitation on this map. Now those symbols may change a little bit. In the bottom left here we have the dew point temperature. This right here, this line, tells you the wind direction. So this wind is coming from the southwest. And then all of them have little flags on the end. 
Now each flag that's on the end is going to be a little bit different and it's going to tell you the wind speed and you're going to see some sort of a key that will tell you what the flag stands for. Inside the giant circle here is going to tell you cloud coverage. So in this case we have three-fourths of the sky that's covered with clouds. So if it's a clear day then this is going to be completely empty. It's going to be a white circle. If it's completely 100% cloudy then this entire circle is going to be black. Right over here we have the barometric pressure and that is measured in millibars. So it's telling you the air pressure. So let's apply this. I have a location right over here, location A. What I want you to do is to pause the video and see if you can come up with answers to this information right here based on what we just covered on that last slide. So don't forget that you can use your keys up here. This tells you the different symbols that you might see on the map. But here are the flags that tell you the wind speed. So pay attention to what's on the end of your flag. Okay, here are your cloud cover symbols. So it tells you the percentage of the sky that is covered by clouds. So go ahead and pause this video and let's see what you can come up with. All right, are you ready for the answers? Here they are. So the percentage of cloud coverage, if we look, we are halfway covered in black, half white, half black there for our circle. So that tells us we have 50% cloud coverage. The wind speed, here's our little flag on the end. So if we go over here, it's representing the 9 to 14 miles per hour for the wind speed. Now the temperature was the number in the top left, so it's 61 degrees. The dew point was a number in the bottom left, that's 57 degrees. And then our barometric pressure was a number on the right side, in this case it's 75 millibars. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of practice. We're going to practice some more with some of these weather maps once you get to class tomorrow.